my name is Ashley and I'm here to talk a little bit about how anthropology um, can be used when you're a librarian. So one of the things that is really great about um, going from an anthropology degree to a library science degree is that library science is a master's degree and there's no real equivalent um, of it as a bachelor's. So you have to have your bachelor's in order to go on to get your master's in library science. Um, so that is one of the uh, great ways that you can use what you've learned in anthropology and carry it on to your master's degree um, when you're working in libraries. So the first thing I want to focus on is um, the bottom up mo model. I use it all the time in just how I think of interacting with patrons at the library. Uh, a library, you know, it's paid for by the taxes of your community. So you want to make sure that the like materials, the books that you buy, um, you know, a lot of libraries are also starting to have um, a library of things, which means that you can have like instant pots to check out or musical instruments. So looking at your community and what they want and what maybe is needed um, is really important. And you can do that by like talking to your patrons, talking to the people that come into the library um, so you're using these like ethnographic, you know, interview techniques that you've learned um, and you can, you know, use that to justify the purchases that you make. So, yeah, um, and also like not only are you using, you know, qualitative data, aka like talking to people either who come into the library or like going out into the community um, and like gathering more information, you can also use, you know, quantitative analysis. What is the uh, diversity of the population that is in this community? So uh, that's why I put right here, cultural anthropology. One of the things I really learned is like how to work with diverse populations and keeping all of that in mind. Um, you know, there's age, you know, is a significant portion of uh, your community elderly. Uh, are they able to come to the library or is it something that uh, should be done in outreach going to the like people either by having a bus some libraries have like a really cool bookmobile um, or you know having a liaison either a librarian or a volunteer go and um, help people order books and other materials so these are all of the different ways that like I've used the things that I learned uh, at UNT and through the anthropology department in my like everyday life uh, in doing collection programming, uh, collections and programming for the library. Um, some of the other ways that you can use it on a more academic side is um, by writing ethnographies. Um, ethnographies are still very, very useful and um, very used in library circles and in library like journals. So the SLJ is this uh, school library journal and they are always looking for more um, submissions. They're always looking for that qualitative and quantitative analysis. Um, it's very difficult sometimes um, because school librarians have a lot on their plate to be able to do this research. And so it's even more valuable um, when that research is, is done and published. Uh, academic librarians as well, depending on the university, some universities consider um, library staff as staff, and then some uh, libraries uh, consider them as professors. And a lot of professors are required to submit a certain number of academic journals and publish a certain uh, amount of works in academic journals. And so, you know, again, this is how you can take the skills that you've learned in like writing papers, writing ethnographies, 
and translate it directly to um, a job in a library. And then of course, like using these ethnographic uh, skills and qualitative and quantitative analysis and all of that like is also really, really useful when applying to grants because you can say like, again, um, I'm a YA librarian. And so one of the grants that's very like popular is um, working to get more STEM projects and STEM like materials into the library. So talking um, to patrons about like, would you use a 3D printer if we got it? What would you wanna do? Um, thinking about like different programs, looking at libraries around you, how have they been doing it? You know, all of this stuff is exactly what you're learning how to do in, through the UNT program, um, through the anthropology department. 